Hey guys, this is Jugget82, and this is a response video response to No3200 about emulator versus consoles. Well, for me, emulation, I think, was kind of like a good thing for gaming in general. I mean, you if you go to Walmart, and let's say you want to get uh, one of those controllers, like the Sega Genesis controllers, where you can have the plug and play. Uh, that's because of emulation. Uh, the Sega Genesis itself was built on emulation as it relates to playing uh, its games and so forth. Uh, I do feel if if you can get the actual console, then you can get that. I have a Nintendo in the background, if you can see over there. And I also have a Super Nintendo, as well as a PS2. And I have also a GBA. And I have games for each system. But, uh... For me, I have two Sega Genesis now. I have one Sega Genesis, and I have the other Sega Genesis. So I have two Sega Genesis. But the thing about it, I can't play neither one. So there's one Sega, and there's the other. I can't really play either one of them. So the reason is, I don't have an adapter for either one of my Sega Genesis, and uh one of my uh, TV hookups is, is, is uh, kind of messed up. So, for me, I, I downloaded a emulator. Um, it's called, uh, well, basically, it's, it's, it's an emulator called Fusion uh, 3.6. And uh, basically, I can play all my Sega Genesis games. And not only that, I can play Game Gear, Sega Master System, which I don't have, Game Gear I don't have. And, um, I can play these. I have two, like I said, I have two Sega Genesis, but I'm unable to play them. Plus, I only have one game for my Sega Genesis in general in this this game right here. So, I don't really have the games as well. So, what it is is that since I don't have those particular games, and I don't have the console to actually hook it up to play it on, I actually have the console, but I don't have the hookups to you know complete it off, I figured that emulation is a good thing for me to do that. But, like I say, if you can obtain the things you need to play your games, then go for it. And sometimes uh, emulation is good to just get a quick view of what the game looks like and so forth. Because if I'm looking to get another NES, particular NES title, I'll go on virtualnes.com uh, and I'll check the games they have in the library and play them. And then the ones I'm looking at or looking for, play it to see if it plays good and so forth. And if it's a good game, I'm going to you know probably try to find out where I can get it from and hopefully you know have it in my collection now like I say I have a Nintendo I have some games for it I have my PS2 I have games for it I also have Super Nintendo games and like that but like I say with the situation as it relates to emulation I feel it's a good thing because some people don't have the money to just sparse out you know and buy every single console if you had every single console that was ever made, then uh, you would have a pretty much packed house. Uh, like I said, I've never gotten a chance to play the 3DO. I've never gotten a chance to play the Jaguar and uh, the Sega Saturn even. I was mostly in just PlayStation at that particular time. So, like I said, emulation gives you a chance to actually play consoles that you never had a chance to play back in the day. When I use my uh, Fusion uh, thing, I've, I've gotten a couple of games uh, for the Sega Game Gear. So it gives me a chance to see what I was missing. And uh, like I said, it's a great thing because I, I really do like those games that I've been playing on and so forth. And like I said, I think emulation is pretty good. But like I said, if you do have the money and you can buy the console as well as the games for it, then do that. But like for me, I don't really have the money, and I've got two Sega Genesis, but you know I can't really play them without the, the adapter and at least getting some games for it. So I use emulation for that, but I still mostly play my console games more than the actual emulation because I do agree with Noel as it relates to saying that uh, you know some it, it is a couple of things missing. I mean, you're not going to be able to have emulation with 100% accuracy because. I've seen uh, certain games just just freeze up and they just they just look real glitchy 
and the music is very off track and it doesn't sound as the music would sound on the original game itself. And I also have a N64 emulator that I uh, use. It's called Project 64, and it's it, it it's you know it's the same way. And it also depends on that emulator itself. Depends on what kind of graphics cards you have on your computer, because some of the games I play on there just look like shit. And <laughs> so, um, like I say, as it relates for me, uh, emulation is good when it's needed. But if you don't really need it to use emulation, and you can obtain the games, then get the games. But uh, like I say, no 3200. This is a really good question you threw out there. Uh, if you guys haven't checked No 3200's uh, channel, I suggest doing that. He's a really cool guy. This is Jughead82, signing off.